Braden had the same kind of offers, um, you know, and, and um, you know, and you can't, if you have enough evidence, you can prove it, but, you know, smoking gun, smoking gun. You know, he said, he said, guy from Kansas State, call him, offer him $600,000 because they lost their quarterback. And if he got in the, in the portal. And I'm not accusing Kansas State of anything. I'm just telling you what the kid told me. And so if they want to, if they don't want their name thrown in it, I think they should probably get a handle on their people. But there's a lot of that going on in college football, and that's just the way things are right now. Braden had the same. Now, I want you to look at this. Is this because last time you played Kansas State, they crushed your dreams, rolled, rolled off 21 points in the fourth quarter, but you were at Nevada? But you were at Nevada building your legacy, building your dynasty, building your resume. Because if your only, only request is, or only argument is, this young man had a great game against Colorado, was getting offered $600,000 to go play at Kansas State. 600000 to be a quarterback for a team with a quarterback dark horse for a Heisman Trophy candidate. And you're 87 in the country in QBR. You're going to need more than that. Now, I do like the fact he called out, well, Kansas State, if, if they did do it, he called out AM, he called out Ole Miss. Let's not pretend that these Power Four schools or Power Five schools aren't tampering. I remember I documented an uh, interview I had with Coach uh, Spivadol from. Texas State he said that they were going to go only to recruit from the transfer portal because if you get high school kids and no one sees on the radar, you coach them up, get them developed, the bigger schools will come and get them. And that was true when Oklahoma State came and got alignment he had at Texas State. Well, the question is, sir, <clears throat> what are you going to do to keep him? Because we all remember when you left Nevada, that same school that Kansas State beat y'all 38-17, how many players did you take with you to Colorado State? A lot, right? So we do know, like I said, we know the rumors that went around when the Marshall Coast called out Coach Prime and Boise State Coast called out everybody had their mom about Boise State. So we do understand and we do know that poaching happens. Poaching happens. Now it is illegal or against the NCAA bylaws where if a kid is under a scholarship on campus, they cannot be recruited or poached. That's the bylaw by another staffer a feeling of the school or coach. So if you have evidence of Kansas State offering this man $600,000, first of all, if K-State can find $600,000, more power to him. But offer this man $600,000 to ride the pine. Sir, release it. It's one thing to say it. If you have proof of it, release it. But no, what did you do? You mentioned it to get it out there in the lexicon and then proceeded to say, oh, I didn't see it. The kid told me this. So you just pulled a Ted Cruz. You gonna blame the kid for something you did? And now you expect everybody to follow you. Coach Norell, you are a great young mind. Your coaching level, I could have never achieved. I give you all the props in the world. But at one point, sir, you got to have these self-inflicted wounds. Stuff that you have caused. Stuff that you are letting happen. We saw what happened last year when you played Colorado. How about this time, coach? You just let sleeping dogs lie. Unless you got proof. If not, let it go.